Hi, it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about the solubility of sparingly soluble salts in the form of the solubility constant. A sparingly soluble salt will have a low concentration, but those species which are dissolved will be completely dissociated. Calcium phosphate, one of the main components of kidney stones, is an example. An equilibrium constant of the equilibrium between the solid and dissolved species can then be written as so. But because the concentration of the solid is a constant, it does not appear in the final equilibrium constant expression. The equilibrium constant of a sparingly soluble salt is called the solubility product, or KSP. Let's look at an example of how to calculate the maximum concentration of a sparingly soluble salt in water. The strategy for this question is to first write a balanced equation for the equilibrium, and then to write an ice table for the changes during the dissolution process. Using this ICE table, it can be determined that Ksp is equal to 108x to the power of 5, and that x, the concentration of the salt dissolved, is 1.14 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter. This can then be used to determine the ionic concentrations, but remember that they are 3x for calcium and 2x for phosphate. If we were then asked to determine the solubility in grams per 100 milliliters, how would it be determined? We know the saturation concentration of the salt, and it can be assumed that the density of water is still one gram per milliliter because the salt is only slightly soluble. The dissolved mass can then be calculated as follows, ensuring that the units are all correct, and it can be seen that the dissolved mass is very small. Let's check comprehension. 